Now, you're listening to Newsday. Alan Kasuja and Paul Hawkins with you. Let's go to America, where a teenager has won a record-breaking $3 million after he was crowned the world champion of a computer game called Fortnite. And this was at the first ever Fortnite World Cup at the Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York. Yeah, which is where they hold the US Open tennis. The tournament saw the largest prize pool in the history of esports with $30 million shared amongst the winners. Esports are electronic sports. I'm talking about things like video gaming. It's an industry worth billions of pounds. The winner was 16-year-old Kyle Giersdorf, known online as Booga. Let's speak to Vicky Veritas, columnist for Cracked.com and Computer Science and Robotics teacher from New Jersey. Hi, Vicky. Hi. Uh, first of all, $3 million for winning, a, a, for, well, effectively for playing and being the best at a computer game. What's that all about? Well, look, it's 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 my dream and every kid's dream come true. You know, you know, now that I'm an adult, obviously, but, you know, <laughs> you, know <laughs> you love playing video games. You never really think that, you know, I could win millions of dollars doing this someday. But now it is a very real possibility. And I think that it's giving our children a lot of hope. It, well, hope, hope, hope to do what? To sit in front of a screen for eight hours a day, earning millions of dollars and, and kind of getting addicted to computer games? To be quite honest, um, before, you know, they saw the billion dollar prize of Fortnite see, uh, becoming a reality, their dream was to become a YouTuber when really they only have a, a fraction of a percent chance of ever reaching over 50 subscribers. Mm. It's way more, you know, um, reachable for them. And they see it as something that they do. They, you know, and they also have the ability to actually compete in, um, the, the qualifying matches. So if they have what it takes to be a professional, all they have to do is go on their app and play, you know, Fortnite, com- the competitive mode, and they can just start in the open league, just like everyone else. I tried, of course, obviously <laughs> mm-hmm. didn't quite make it to the world cup, but uh, I got pretty close. And, you know, if, if I can get, you know, you know 50 points away from competing in the world cup so did they and a lot of them did play in qualifying matches and it just it's a very exciting thing yeah uh, well well, i don't doubt that but um what about the addictive side of playing computer games doesn't this encourage that i used to be so addicted to playing a football game called fifa that i had to get uh, the person i was living with to hide the computer game so i could go (laughs) cold turkey i mean it you know i was having issues with aggression staying up all night staying away i was kind of playing it into the uh, early hours of the morning these games are addictive and this encourages that well the first actual rehab program for addictive video gaming was actually for candy crush and this was you know years ago when you know smartphones were first invented and you know the the public outcry was mainly um based about candy crush and you know adults that are addicted to this game and actually checking into rehab because they were addicted so now the attention has shifted to the children who are quote unquote addicted when really you know if a if a child plays soccer and he plays for a competitive club team you know and the club team has practice four times a week they have tournaments every weekend wouldn't you say he's addicted to soccer too mm. Well, uh, yeah, but is that, if you can even term it that way, is that a healthy addiction? Well, to be quite honest, I believe that video gaming addiction would be a lot safer than, let's say, football addiction. Uh, My father was a football player, and today today he's really suffering with multiple, you know, bodily Mm. injuries on his Mm. whole body. He just had another shoulder replacement surgery, his fourth, because he played football. I I would rather, you know, maybe see my kid be a competitive esports player. And And possibly possibly be a victim of obesity in front of the TV. Well, you know, there's a lot of free will in that aspect as well. If you, you know, choose to just go get a bag of potato chips and not think of it, I mean, that's a different debate altogether. Mm. If you have healthy snacks available, you know, you can munch on grapes while you're playing Fortnite. Plus, it's it's pretty hard to play and eat at the same time. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's almost impossible. Well, (laughs) I I will concede to you on that, having having, having (laughs) been a, a former... A video game addict myself um really good to talk to you uh really good to talk to you vicky thank you vicky veritas there columnist for uh, crack.com computer science robotics teacher from new jersey let us know what you think about computer games <laughs>